That's right, right. We got our grapes. We got red and green seedless grapes, pineapples, mangoes, nectarines. So why don't you tell us about like the program itself and the success of well, this, uh, this bus in particular? Okay. <laughs> well, what we do is we go to the food desert areas, uh, communities that don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. And what we try to do is we go to these we go to these uh, communities, you know, so we can provide fresh fruits and vegetables to promote healthier eating. Awesome. And uh, you know a better way of living. So. It's cool. a twofold purpose. Where do you get the food from? Actually, right now we uh, get our fruit from the fruit market. Uh, actually, the International Produce Market, which is on the southwest side of Chicago, we pick that up from them right now. But uh, shortly, we're going to be getting from the local farmers here in Chicago. Cool, cool, so cool. We'll be getting a lot of uh, homegrown product. We'll be getting a lot of organic product. Nice. Uh, sometimes we uh, usually have the organic smoothies. On, on the bus, which we keep in our coolers and everything <laughs> like that. So, you know, we just try to, you know, we're just a, a mobile produce, a mobile store, you know. And That's we, great. And we try to bring the produce to the people, you know. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, I you want to get a sense of, like, how many people stop by every time? Uh, well, today, uh, we can, I can kind of give you an accurate yeah, sense yeah. because we usually count the number of customers that we get. Well, today, uh, today was a pretty decent day. We made uh, quite a few. Uh, we had a, quite a few sales today. Uh, you know, so the sales vary yeah. from day to day. You know, uh, depending for some communities, depending on the time of the month. Yeah, when they okay. get their money, you know. So, mm -hmm. and do you, you know, do you time your visits based on? We kind of we do uh, yeah. because we talk to them. What's best for for them? So, um, like, the first of the month is really our heaviest time. <laughs> this is Rory. I'm right. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Nice to meet <laughs> you. you. Know, the first of the month is usually the busiest time of the month for us because a lot of people get their checks or their food stamps mm -hmm. on the first of the month. So, and that's the time that we, we go to a lot of the senior citizen buildings, mm -hmm. a lot of the communities like this. How, you know. how do you choose which locations to go to? Well, we have a coordinator who uh, contacts... Uh, the, the con well, actually, the contact people in these communities, they contact us and say, hey, can you, they, they heard about the program like you did, right. and they say, hey, can you guys come over to, like, can you come to our building, and I'm going to send out flyers and let everybody know, you know, you guys are coming. And people, they like, oh, yeah, I want fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. They don't have to go to the store. They don't have to pay the high prices at some of the stores. So uh, that's kind of how, you know, cool. word of mouth, you know, from each community organization. So one of the things we're, I mean, we're, we're getting into, like, data the city provides and mm -hmm. looking at things like where are the stores, where are the farmers markets. Mm -hmm. What would be useful? What, what can we calculate that would be useful for you? For me? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to know? We want to know where the people, where, you know, where the need is. Where the need is, yeah. you know? You know, where, where are we needed? Where can we where can we be? Where can we go to? Mm -hmm. You know, that people are going to need us. That's what we want because people, you know, fruits and vegetables is needed by everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and to get fresh ones at a good reasonable price and we can bring it to you and you're ready to buy, that's what we want to know. You know, we want to know. We want to bring this to you. We're also yeah. thinking about an educational component of this uh, being that do people understand the importance of getting fresh produce and fresh foods. It's good you say that. Uh, actually, we just uh, had a class. Uh, we're actually taking classes so that we can be able to tell people a little bit more about it. Hey, Rory, can you turn that engine off for me, please? Uh, so we can tell the people a little bit more about what each uh, fruit and vegetable does for the body, you know? Like, uh, they were just telling us about apples. Got so many nutrients, but once you start taking the peel off, that takes away what it's actually designed to do for you. So. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're getting educated through uh, people coming in, educating us, so that we can educate the people. Right. Who, Very who's, cool. who's that? Who comes in? Uh, I f they have different people to come in. Uh -huh. I forgot, uh, last week, uh, about two well, weeks ago, we had a lady come in. She did some training with us. I, I forgot the organization uh, that she who she's working with. But she's supposed to come back and do some more training. But uh, we always look for somebody to come give us some information. So that, you know, the more information we can give people, the better that is, you know, and, so they know why. Yeah, I apologize. We just found out about you. We <laughs> ran out here. So, okay. yeah. um, it seemed like you have, like, one or two stops per day. What is yeah, we, we have uh, particularly uh, three, maybe 
two to four stops a day, just depending on how she sets it up. 